Hello again our most valued student my name is Confident and welcome to our lesson and in this series of videos I want to teach you about the geometry of straight lines and in a way it is kind of a revision between for those of you who are doing grade 8 and 9 and it's also good if you didn't understand this background if you are at a higher grade to get this background uh, straight you know to put it at rest now we are looking at the geometry of straight lines and I just want to be talking to you about um, I would say four things the first I want us to talk about what is parallel lines okay and then we're going to move on to talk about what is corresponding angles okay and then we are going to continue to look at what is alternate angles and then the last one we are going to focus on is core interior angles all right so this is what i want us to be looking at in these coming videos i'm not going to cover all of them at the same time but we are going to be looking them one at a time so what is this first line uh, the first lesson all about the first lesson is all about parallel lines now what is a parallel line in simple definition a parallel line these are two or more lines that will never meet they will never cross each other for example if i have a line like this to say I've got a straight line and then I bring in another straight line as long as I continue drawing these lines as long I extend them it doesn't matter how far this one can go if it is straight like that and I bring also this other one no matter how far it goes as straight as it can be if they don't meet all if they will never meet it means they are parallel in what sense this distance from here see that distance and that distance it never changes it always remains the same why because they are parallel lines so you will see that if this distance was five this must always be five meters or five millimeters or whatever so it must never change it's a sign that these are parallel lines now there is something that we do when you talk about parallel lines also it's got uh it's given a special profit property so if i've got a b and i've got c d and i'm saying these lines are parallel you are going to indicate by this arrow and that arrow sometimes they make them two if you put those two arrows what you're trying to tell us is these two lines are parallel to each other how do you write that this is how you write it. You are going to say A, B is parallel to C, D. That's how it's written. A, B is parallel to C, D. So this is that. So don't forget, it's a very, very special property of lines. Lines that never meet are called parallel lines. Now with that in mind, there is also another special line that I want to bring. For example, if I come with a straight line, that kind of cuts through like that. And let me call that line EF. Now, what do we call this line? We call this line a transverse, transversal line. It's a transversal, it's a, it's a transversal line, meaning what does it do? It cuts through A, B, and C, D. That transversal line brings more properties uh, of what of 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 these uh, parallel lines which we are going to be looking at by just bringing that transversal line it is where now we're going to look at corresponding angles alternate angles as core interior angle now for now we have come to the end of this lesson join me again in the second lesson where i now start by looking at corresponding angles thank you